supercharge your sentences, mastering, more, and most. Hello, learners. Welcome back to our series on Grammar Fundamentals. Today, we'll focus on a specific aspect of adjectives and adverbs, degrees of comparison. We are going to master the use of more and most with adjectives and adverbs. So, let's get started and make your English more impressive. Degrees of comparison show differences in the intensity, degree, or manner of a quality or manner that a noun possesses. They are typically divided into three types. Positive degree describes a quality without making a comparison. Example, he is tall. Comparative degree compares two persons or things. Example, he is taller than I. Superlative degree compares more than two persons or things. Example, he is the tallest. Today, we're focusing on the last two, specifically with the use of more and most. When you compare two things or people and the adjective or adverb has two or more syllables, we typically use more before the word. This is a way to express a comparative degree. For example, she is more beautiful than her sister. The exam was more difficult than I expected. Remember, not all adjectives or adverbs use more. Single syllable words typically add or. For example, she is taller than her sister. When comparing more than two things or people, and the adjective or adverb has two or more syllables, we use most before the word. This helps us express a superlative degree. For example, she is the most beautiful girl in the school. That was the most difficult exam of the semester. Again, Remember not all adjectives or adverbs use most. Single syllable words typically add est. For example, she is the tallest girl in the school. More and most are typically used with adjectives and adverbs with two or more syllables. Single syllable adjectives and adverbs typically use er and est for comparison. There are exceptions to these rules, such as with irregular adjectives and adverbs. For instance, good becomes better and best, not more good or most good. And there we have it. A quick but comprehensive guide to using more and most with adjectives and adverbs. Remember, Knowing how to use degrees of comparison can really help your English to sound more natural and fluent. Keep practicing, keep learning, and we'll see you next time with more grammar fundamentals. Happy learning!